Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Well, I'm actually getting set up for uh, my live stream. We're going to start out in about 30 minutes from now. But um, I want to deal with something here. Um, when I grew up watching um, ESPN, when ESPN first came out, it was like a revolution because you have to understand at that time there was no internet back in that day there were actually very was only a little bit of cable television that was just in its infancy and of course the internet was not invented and to that point there was very little national sports coverage you had george michael's sports machine on Sunday nights for 30 minutes where you could see highlights. There was, of course, the, the publications of like Sports Illustrated and, and things like that. But you did not get anything until ESPN. And when ESPN came through, it was literally just the facts. They would show you the highlights, they would tell you what was going on, and you could make up your own mind on things. Somehow, ESPN and all the talking shows have lost their way. Now, people get things wrong all the time. I'm, I, for one, am one that it can literally not throw rocks because I've had things where I didn't intentionally get it wrong, but it ended up being wrong. You know, I do know a few people. I do hear some things and all that. And when it came to the Earl Thomas situation back uh, before the draft a few years ago, I had somebody had told me that the Cowboys were trying to get Earl Thomas and they were talking with Seattle and that at that time, um, damn, I can't remember our cornerback's name, but he went to Philadelphia, um, that the Cowboys were like, we'll throw this guy in there. That ended up starting off a lot of people going through and so on and everything else to the point where finally Mike Fisher was being asked about this and he said, well, I don't know where they got this from. There's nothing to this. And then, of course, a week later, we find out going into the draft that um, the Cowboys were trying to trade for him. So it may have been that there was some workings in there, some conversations. And, you know, I ended up, you know, people called me literally a clickbaiter, people that I had worked with you know, on YouTube were literally saying, forget this guy, you know, he's, he, you know, he's a piece of crap. And they said, you know, and, and I said, look, my, my mistake, okay, this is what I was told. And this, and when I put it out there, I said, this is what I am hearing. I didn't say this was a fact. Regardless, I was told, well, you're not like Adam Schefter or, you know, um, you know, any of the other talking people out there, you don't have credibility. Okay. I get it. I don't work for ESPN. I don't have all of the secret sources that they have or NFL Network and things. You're right. But I do the best that I can to get the story correct. And if I'm not sure on it, I will say, uh, this is being reported. I don't know. I'll double check and sick check the sources because nowadays there's so many things that look legitimate that really aren't. That really aren't. But here's an interesting piece here because... With Adam Schefter talking about that Dak Prescott won't be 100%, it's like, okay, where are you getting this source from? Where did you come up with this conclusion? Did you talk to Dak Prescott and Dak Prescott say this? Because it was a few months ago that we had a similar situation that came about, and I, I want to bring this um, to you guys, because this is what happened with Adam Schefter with the Aaron Rodgers situation. And this was broken before the draft. And I want you to listen to how he tries to walk this back. NFL, joined by great guest Urban Meyer, also a former wide receiver Josh Gordon, the Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts, the Adam Schefter podcast. Subscribe and listen. Well, it was just about a week ago, a couple hours from now, where Adam Schefter came on Sports Center and said basically that Aaron Rodgers wanted out of Green Bay. Uh, walk me through that. Did you get a phone call or text? You know, Dan, the funny part about it is that I've heard people say, oh, Aaron Rodgers wanted that out before the draft. Mm -hmm. I can assure you Aaron Rodgers did not want that out before the draft. I've had people say the Green Bay Packers planted that. It was a very pro-Packers story. Keep listening. I can assure you the Green Bay Packers didn't plant that. When people guess at where stories come from, more often than not, 
they're usually wrong. And in this case, they're wrong. This was an accumulation all during the offseason of just listening to people talk and observing. And if we go back to the NFC Championship game that the Green Bay Packers lost at home, did we not hear Aaron Rodgers after that game talk about his level of unhappiness, if you will, uncertainty for the future? Just go back and listen to that press conference. And it sounds almost like he's saying goodbye to Green Bay. And so your antenna's up. And I'm just telling you throughout the course of the offseason, there was rarely a week that went by where I didn't hear something about Aaron Rodgers. And on draft day, there's a report that morning from Paul Allen out in Minneapolis that the Ford Matters made a draft offer, which they didn't make an offer. They never made an offer. And other people are saying that the Ford Matters called. And I said, how long till it gets out that Aaron Rodgers wants out of Green Bay? Is it next week? Is it next when he doesn't show to the OTAs? Is it next month when he's in? It's going to come out. What does it matter if it comes out now or next week or next month? And so... So you chose to break the news on draft day. <laughs> that is actually, that is actually yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't something that you got information about. No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. No. I... There was nothing that morning that came in. Okay. All of a sudden said to me, yeah, he wants out. You should report this. Like, it, it was going on all off season. You just keep hearing it. And there, there's more and more talk. And now I'm just starting to get Aaron Rodgers talking. I say, you know what? This isn't going to wait much longer. Let's just go. It just happened to be drafted. Because I wondered when you said it didn't come from <laughs> Rodgers, didn't come from the Packers, it, and it's being characterized differently. I was wondering, okay, you're not going to tell me your source. You know, what was the motive yeah, behind yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, it's not the source. No, no, I know, but I know that now, but we're just finding this out right now. This well, I said this. I said it on NFL Live. I said it my five guys said it. You know, I mean, I don't know. People want to believe whatever they want to believe. It was just an accumulation of information throughout the course of the entire offseason. Did the Rams make an offer? The Rams inquired in January. And again, that's an example. I knew when they were calling, yeah. and they were quickly rebuffed. Like, the conversation went nowhere, but they checked in early in January. <laughs> and they were not the only team that checked in. So, by the way, there, why are these teams checking in? Because he's what? available for their hearing is available. Well, where are they hearing that? <laughs> um, you I make know, a... Are they hearing it from the Packers, or are they hearing it from Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> Because it has to come from one of those two, right? Well, I'm just saying that there was a lot of speculation in league circles, however you want to characterize that, that he was unhappy and wanted out. And then if you just, again, go back to the press conference, go back to Jeopardy. Now, he can play Jeopardy. He can do Jeopardy, post Jeopardy, and play football. Too. He can do that. Yeah. But he's doing that. Uh, he's making the comments he's making. I mean, to, you know, it's funny. So Walk it back now. Walk it back. All right. So <laughs> here's the thing. So there were no sources. This was just teams that called inquiring about Aaron Rodgers. Is he available? Um, people call about people all the time. You know, we called about Jamal Adams, you know, and okay turns out he was actually available people have called about Connor McGovern doesn't mean he's available you can call anybody and say hey is there any chance because you might find out before anybody else that maybe there was and you know I agree that you could say man maybe these things are, are connecting the dots but you need to come out and say listen after doing my research here of looking what Aaron Rodgers has said, looking what the Packers have done, I think Aaron Rodgers wants to get out. But the way it was reported was, and the time it was reported was at the draft, because if it's during the draft, you're thinking a mega blockbuster trade could be happening at the draft, and now all of a sudden Aaron Rodgers is traded and it messes up everybody's draft board. But as he put it, it wasn't the Packers, it wasn't Aaron Rodgers, I didn't get a phone call, I just put it out there. So let me ask you then, Adam Schefter, what are your sources on Dak Prescott not being 100%? Did Dak call you? Did the Dallas Cowboys call you? Did Dak's doctor call you? 
did you watch Dak Prescott working out? Or is this the same thing that you're doing with Aaron Rodgers where it's kind of the rumor mill? So that's my take on this with Adam Schefter. Um, like I said, I've met Adam Schefter before. Joe Booz actually interviewed him. Um, I ain't mad at Adam Schefter, but you know we, we need to be clear or we need to be understanding exactly what we're getting, that you have to kind of take some of these reports with a bit of a side eye. There's a lot of things that they get 100% right, but that doesn't mean that sometimes we're going to kind of you know play this up a little bit more than what it may actually be to get people to watch. So there we go. So guys, with that being said, you know the deal. I'll see you guys on the live stream in a bit.